Okay, so I think it's really broad, right? I think we've kind of also said a little bit before we started that there's no real one definition. So for me, what I focus on a lot is maybe kind of what aspects seem to fit in really well with existentialism or what do I pick up on a lot in therapy? So stuff around making choices and that those choices come with responsibility so that it's not about this easy choice that I want everything and I want things to work out exactly the way I want them to work out, but I'm going to make a choice. I'm going to win some things. I'm also going to lose some things. And that is the very nature um, of choice, which is what makes choice difficult and maybe what brings clients to us who are very stuck because they want to, well, they want it all, right? They, they want to have this thing. They want the relationship. They want to have the child. They also want to be able to work 70 hours a week and have a fun social life and they don't really know which of those is going to make them happier because they kind of want it all and they feel that's going to miss out by choosing one or another so that's a big one with choice and responsibility freedom I guess kind of covers that as well um stuff around anxiety and sort of the existential anxiety sense of finding meaning finding purpose um uh, what, how, what comes up when we feel stuck what comes up when we feel that maybe we're just sort of going through life rather than living life and kind of having this maybe low level sense of dread that nothing seems to bring excitement or joy that I seem to be struggling a lot with making choices and anxiety and so on so I think for me that really comes in as well in existential thoughts um, and then I would say maybe if I'm thinking of it specifically for therapy it would be about kind of that it doesn't have maybe very fixed techniques. It's much more about an attitude of exploration, an attitude of understanding um, uh, and just helping the client to kind of gain clarity about whatever issues they're bringing to therapy. And from then, hopefully it enables them to either accept a situation as this is my reality right now and this is what I have to live with and I need to accept it. Or now that I understand what my reality is, now I can make different choices and different decisions and hopefully that will take me somewhere else. So for me, there's also that element of sort of the attitude towards our lives that we take on and maybe kind of to use the fancy word, kind of that phenomenological exploration of just kind of really um, not having to pathologize, not having to explain things and say, you are this way because of this. Um, but let's just really understand what way are you and what way would you like to be um, and how, you know, how can you use your freedom to get to that place that you really want to be?